it's the mindset Free your mind, free your mind Mindset, free your mind Yes, Empress. Um, looking and looking forward. Mm -hmm. You know, in the month of July. Yes. Um, I, you know, I his Majesty Earth Strong coming yes, up as well. You know, the yes, twenty-third. Yes. Yes. You know, We're gonna celebrate that the, up in Fairfield the, House. Rastafari. Yeah. That's in Bath. Fairfield House in Bath. Uh -huh. That's the only palace His Majesty have in Europe. You know, although him, him they have another house in another part of the country in England, but his palace was in Fairfield Bath. And I mean to say, that's where the family lived, that's where, you know, a community that he built and contributed to. Yeah, Victoria Park, have a lot of His Majesty's, um, yeah, man, His Majesty have a very special areas inside the Victoria Park of Bath. So anyway, Fairfield House, yeah, not anyway, but the right way and the most joyful way on July 23rd is the way to Bath. Yes, Fairfield House. So, you can, you know, you can check, um, you can uh, get in touch with me, yeah, email me. I can send you a flyer on Facebook. Check me on Facebook, ask Kali Selassie, and you can get your flyer, see the flyer, and get the information there, all right? right. Highly blessed. Right. Yes, yes, see you then. We have, we're gonna have a grand time, all right? Every time, yes, I always, mean, a jubilant celebration. Yes, sir, 127, 127. Yes, I. And Mark. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, I'm living forever, you know. Yes, sir. I'm inside, I know, so you yeah. can't take it out. <laughs> yes, yeah, I know. I, yeah. we, we have um, the first of the first of August uh, mm -hmm. coming up, also. Yes. And um, you normally have the Emancipation March here. Yes. In 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 England. Um, what what are your thoughts on 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 the whole thing? Because um. When you look, when when you look at the whole thing, you know, to 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 gather, you know, you have to you have to pay a certain amount of money if you, if you want to gather, and if you if you want to use even um, the police as a as a security, you know, who organizing the march have to um, have to give some form of payment to 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 toward that. So. My my question is now, you know, cause we repatriation, you yes. know, and 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 um, compensation also, because yes. you can't repatriate without compensation. Yeah. You know, right. you need that. Right. As, the reparations. The reparation. Yeah, for real. You know I mean? For real. So all all, all day I look upon that, knowing that you know we are agitating to to Babylon to say or to. The, 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 the British crown, the English yes. crown, to say we, 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 are, we want repatriation and we want compensation, Re reparation for the 400 odd years and more yeah. that you, know, you brought yes. us into slavery. But we are now taking money and giving mm. to the crown to have us secure on the, on, on the street. I'm yeah. not knocking it still, no, but I'm just, you know, what's your thoughts? And, and that, knowing that, you know, it's us should be getting paid as as other people. Well, the first thing I would say in terms of that, I, I, the first thing I would say is that every cent, every penny that is spent in this, in any of our struggles like this, that is talking for the whole nation, yes, this every, every penny of it must be noted and because the invoice you're going to send, you know. Yeah, it's an invoice you're sending, you know. This must be part of the reparations money. This part. might be the first, the first part of the reparations money. Yes, that is given to African peoples. Because this is an important thing that the African people, even the most of us are not taking part in the way that we should be. You know, we don't, we, we, we don't, we go on like it's not affecting us. Mm. And 
it's just a small number that is fighting for the greater numbers who are don't want to turn your back this is your story and this is what when you, when you say that compensation that is part of the first thing that i would say that every cent of that it must be clear that they are going to pay we are the ones we are having to pay now it's, it's all right it's just a loan it's a loan that we must get it back because we must get it back forward and in fact you know this is the kind of thing really that we should be lobbying to our mp and our people like this in the parliament for them to make sure that this day that we get those things we get those things these are gifted to us yes. for our benefit so that the, you know this is how you start to say you're sorry you're sorry this is yes. all you're really really serious about it you yes. know okay so you want to give something to the windrush generation that's us give something in that way that money that is you're gonna give make sure you put that aside for that because that emancipation march can't stop you know we have to do that every year you know it's gonna take that time before the people wake up and realize say we have to get reparations yes we have to get reparations they can't just keep us here like this this is the thing that is part of the problem you see them care back in the day they could never they get rid of us all them people once they go home it them know very well that them couldn't we could not could not leave that's how they also know them signs you know all them are runway and now we, we feel so we work in complete we still had to stay because we still had to build this we build it you know the people that want to reject we completely gentrify everything and, and, and make the use them have nothing and this is the wind rush <laughs> this is the wind rush generation yes. now, who, who, who came from in the early early 50s yes right and 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 as they said build it after the war yes after the war yes straight up, after the war up until this point now yeah and you know it look how we know you wanna you know throw out the people um, who you know work so hard to build to build what you know what what the uk are you know the united kingdom is today because you know it's, it's and this is why the ones them now who are representing the organization we've been rushed they should be very primary on the march do you understand me those people should not be absent from the emancipation march they should be definitely in the forefront of it so that the people know that there's a purpose Rastafari. to the invoices that we are sending you understand me we have to get to we have to really people it's not just a question of friend friend you know man this is a serious thing that is affecting your grandchildren the most of us who have grandchildren in this country have mixed race grandchildren also you see me that is also part of the process you know to make us feel very much connected you know mm -hmm. and also make me feel kind of slightly comfortable and a level you know don't bother with it because your grandchild is gonna have problems too you understand and we have to say that we have to do something about it man because all the while now we, you know we ancestors them are feel away so we now do nothing so we just sit down here so after them work so hard if you say the thing for me we have to, you see so reparations it comes on them level you know it comes from us having our own schools reparations money you know because seeing as all many of us now with those connections with the grandchildren and and thing here because i've been hearing about repatriation from before you know before whatever age you understand me True. so now so now then they say oh when the ch when me when my daughter them grow up or when my children grow up let them get some education over here first and then we can go but as soon as them finish uh, primary school so yeah that that family that people that couple that said that they have great grandchildren now in this country but you know give thanks that they can go and have a look see in africa but you know it's not it's not the same because every time you go you feel like you want to stay but you can't stay because you have too much roots here so and it's very hard to dig up to move and how you're gonna do it 
you have to have that sense of reparations. It's, a, it's also a psychosis, you know. It's a psychological thing also, you know. So you have to, if you have that funding, that you know that you can be comfortable in terms of your movements, then you can definitely be able to move. And you know, man, they're always trying to get rid of us, you know. It's not no. So any level, any type of thing where they want to call it, any kind of title where they want to call it, any hat, whether it be minority or immigrant or no visa or whatever they want to call it, it's still the same thing. We have to know that, but because they know how disunited we are, but at the same time, you know, one five year old will tell me, say, no, 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 one of the five year old, no, 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 we are united because we all breathe and we all have the same thing. But then again, you start going to a whole, all the whole world when the humanity is united. No, we want to talk about a specific kind of unity that deals with our mindset of our people, that says that when the 1st of August come, if you're not on holiday, you should be, because you have a march to attend. You have to go and make sure that you are, your name is written there. It's not to, on a piece of paper, you know, it's a universal vision. Yes, because it's the whole nation. Don't, listen, the first, after the first year, the first year of the march, I, I watched it on TV. I was in Ethiopia watching it on TV. You see, as I talk about it, it's the same, the same, you know, uh, lioness, 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 stand up, you know, because really and truly, you know, that was an incredible, divine move, people. It's only the Almighty could have make everyone come out, you know. It's only the Almighty. No matter who instigate the idea, remember say, all good ideas come to from His Majesty, you know, same way, from the divine power. Okay? The divine power of the of the inspiration. And most people, enough ones get ideas, but them don't act on it. But you see the action of ones and ones. Give thanks for everyone who made the action to make that one possible. But guess what? That amount of unity, Babylon couldn't take that. Cause I stay right there, and then I come forward. It come forward like within two strands I come forward, and it's peer bickering going on because the ones them, ego and she go. You see the thing that can destroy the thing, you know. We have to let go ego and she go, my brethren and my sister. We have to let go that and move forward without that. You see me? Cause it's okay. We have to. We can work together, you know. But we have to drop. Forget the ego and the shego, and then we can see how much clearer everything is when we're working as as one together as one, you know. Nation part, building. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you have to do your part. Everyone have to try and do their part in every way that possibly can, you know. True, true. You know what I mean? It's imperative. It's imperative. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's our future. Yes. Sir. Yes, and which is now, by the way. Uh, one, one more. <laughs> One more, one more point where um, more of you um, touch upon before um, before we before we seal up. Um, we day here so in London now, and um, we see we see the the, the, the epidemic of knife crime, and um, it's mostly black youths are being knife, yes. and mostly black youths are you know going going to prison. You know, as 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 a mother, you know, what the I talk because you said earlier that you know, us black men we are in danger. See, yes, you know? yes, it's a real thing, and you know, it's very very deep and sad to see that is the younger generation killing the generation, like trying to wipe out their own generation you understand this is the thing now that you know say it's over and beyond a normal human vibration going on there because one virgin today described the knife them you know they make some special kind of knife you know that they wouldn't be selling to no teenager just so so they're getting them from somewhere that's the next thing where where is these guns and knives coming from you know, black people don't have these things. They never had no charge of no guns and no knives. 
We are not we are not a race of people that are in that position yet. So now is a is a certain mindset. It come one say is a combination of the food, the education, the situation as they look around and see the gentrification going on. That is taking out the black population out of the thing, the picture. Yeah, so you know, is a is a is a certain kind of look. Nowadays, you know, as a black mother, grandmother, the youths them don't see me, you know. Mm. When I walk in the street, you know, there's no, there's no eye contact, no nothing. It's like if they're looking my way, it's like whoa, I'm just a completely alien person to them. They don't have no connection. The way that they, the way that you see them, is like there's no connection in them with anything that says you are, you're a good person you're a good person you know that it was it's like everyone is trying to be as bad as they could possibly be more outrageous than ever this is what is the kind of thing that is encouraged somewhere in our youth them them thing is encouraged is it neglect that encourage that from peer pressure now amongst them one another because you can't find no one under certain age more than so who's gonna leak out against homosexuality or LBGT, you know. It's no none but nobody under certain age up to you know, up to eighteen or so is gonna do that. Because when you do, there was a nine year old, ten year old girl who leak out about it being taught in schools. Now imagine that this grace, when I say Saddam and Gomorrah is a real thing, you know, people. If you're if you're being taught homosexual principles, about like seven years ago, children were getting um, sex education classes, and the teachers were handing out flavored condoms, flavored condoms, not even regular condoms. So you got into a different level of sexual behavior that is being, and they were twelve years old. The students in the class. And this okay. is in England. And this right here in England. Right here in England. Okay? Flavored condoms has been handed out to 12 year olds in the classroom. It might have been part of some experiment, but guess what? Every borough can experiment in them own borough, you know. So so whatever. You understand? Some boroughs have certain reputation for certain. You understand? So therefore, in that borough they might that is what they were perpetrating. That was their thing. They were the forerunners of that in education. And that was one so that was one of the first signs I see that, oh, I'm really serious about this, like on another level. Because those those things are straight up indications of how you should be moving. So when 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 you said earlier that you know parents have to really be on top of what so the youth much. Them so much. Look here, it's not by accident that parents are run up and down and are work 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 because they just have to keep because they yeah. need to be earning. Mm. Yeah. Remember in the in the nineties, eighties and nineties, unfortunately for, for I and I, it was a large proportion of single mothers, yes, in the system. I was a teacher in the school system here and believe me, it was so the norm. That everyone in front of me who's black is a single parent or was them come from. You understand? So that this now was something that the, the government, the ruling, everybody know that. So the next step was to destroy the, the thing now, man, because you're gonna you, you don't have got much. The program for the man them already set, you know. Brethren and brethren and sisters. The program for the brethren, the meal is already set in the black race. So now, you have a single mother now, is she have to work for because she ever produce the youth, you know, who is going to be your slaves, you know, the system. So therefore, you're a black slave, you know, so therefore, you must have a program for them. So, we, when I see that, as a teacher, I see that every time, every parent meeting, I tell you, I beg the black parents, them, the black mothers, them, especially, to come out, please. Black, black, please come out, man. Let go the coronation thing. Let go the thing. Come, come, come to the parents' meeting because it's your child. We mm. put myself on the governing body, you know, the school. First time, try and block the black youth, them getting expelled and suspended all the while. 
Because the fear is them will not take them not take part, them just low up them fitness up. Because them claim says a great education system. And that's it. It used to be. It used to be when you were under colonial powers, it was then good. It was good we considered even great too. Right? But that was a time. It's not still so again though, you cannot leave it use up. So the thing about it is that Every parent have this responsibility. Black parents, you must and born, you have this responsibility. That is to debrief you, use them. Make, find out what's going on with them and them friend, man. Don't make it get too far. Eh? button. See you on the next video. I just got the mindset.